meet Steve Uehara. We know the guy likes to eat. That looks good. In fact, if you were behind the scenes when we were shooting our promos, you'd know he wasn't exactly complaining when he chomped down six boxes of single-serve cereal. Six boxes, all to get this one shot. <laughs> Now, you may know him best as the Emmy Award-winning weekend sports anchor. Back in the day. So how did this local kid, this clown, become the new Sunrise Morning News anchor? Well, apparently, he even surprised his own mother. To figure out how Steve came to be, we decided to search his childhood room in Mililani. We couldn't help but notice this, his basketball lamp. Oh, that's from his sister, because he was so much into basketball. Next to grab our attention were his 25 pound dumbbells. Does he still use the dumbbells? Oh yeah, when he comes home, um, he'll use those. It's really hard to vacuum around it because I don't pick those up too much. They're really heavy. So let's delve right into Steve's past. These are Stevie's uh, baby pictures. Affectionately known by his family as Stevie Boy, he was officially named after his great-grandfather, Taro. That's his middle name. Not shocking that he would be named after food. He looked up to his older sister, Stacy, who says she helped her brother with this breakdance outfit. And yes, those pants are made out of a garbage bag. He liked to hide in hampers, so it didn't seem real likely that Steve would ever make it to the anchor desk. That is, until we learned about Steve's speech and debate achievements in high school, earning him second place in the state. What are you looking at? If you think he's posing here, wait until you see why he's earned the title as, quote, the pride of Damien High School. He's not Mr. January or Mr. February. But there in full glory was Mr. May, Steve Uehara striking a pose that would even make Madonna proud. After Steve's repeated denials of his existence, Mrs. Uehara confirmed the calendar was for a high school fundraiser. I don't think they really made that much money, but I had to buy a lot of them. <laughs> so they made a lot of money out of me. Oh, oh. After graduation, Steve gained his communication chops at Cal State Northridge University. Hello, and welcome to our final edition of Valley View. I'm Steve Uehara. We do have some unconfirmed reports that Steve may be wearing his dad's jacket in this shot. The University of Hawaii football team was back at home tonight. A diamond in the rough who got his first real job at KHON. The Wolfpack got a win against the, against the Warriors a, a year ago in Reno. Once at KGMB 9, Steve gained more polish. Still, it was the sports challenge that often got the best of him. Was he coordinated? Um, not really. That's <laughs> Coordinated or not, Steve could always make us laugh, especially during those sports challenges. Whether he was getting crushed by table tennis champ Rick Livermore, teetering on ice skates to demonstrate how hard it is to balance, or when he was wiping out while paddling on a longboard, his style always seemed to shine through, which is why his sister says viewers are always asking her about her baby brother. Oh, I get that all the time. It's like, oh, whatever. It's, it's, oh my God, Steve's your brother? Oh my God, oh my God, oh, Steve's your brother? Oh, Steve is your brother? It's like, oh my God, enough already. There's no denying he is an all around good guy. That's Steve. He's really humble. Um, he's not a showy person. He's not pretentious. He wrote a speech for my wedding. It was so beautiful. My brother's such a talented writer. I think that's what actually got him going and I think it led to bigger and better things for him. And just one more thing for Steve, a piece of advice from his lovely mother. Be sure to get to work on time. <laughs> um, get a lot of rest so you don't have all those little bags, sleepy bags. For Sunrise, I'm Grace Lee, KGMB 9 News. Some people